Hello YouTube, FSP here. Hope y'all are doing well today. Thought I would make this video for uh, creative redundancy mainly. Uh, get some of this stuff out of the way. He was asking me about this uh, first aid kit. Uh, and I told him I would show him. This is the, uh, the box I actually found in the trash. So, uh, I'm sorry y'all, I'm doing all this one-handed here. Uh, so here we go. This is, uh, we got a little bit of uh, first aid fundamentals, a little paperwork there. We got a burn shield dressing. We got cat tourniquet. Another uh, burn shield. I recently purchased these not long ago. Because that, that was one part of my kit that I, I knew I didn't have. And uh, the likelihood of me getting burnt in here is pretty good. So I got, uh, as you can see, mega medical tape in here. A little piece of a roll there. This is uh, gauze. Got a few little band-aids for small in, smaller type injuries with a ranger band around them. Another big uh, piece of gauze there. Some, uh, what are these? Let's see. New gauze. I don't know. Some sort of little gauze pads. A big rolled gauze. Gauze bandage. So we got that. Uh, I've got a teeny pair of little shears in here. It's basically just for cutting gauze or tape. And they work quite well for that. They're not trauma shears by any means. They're not supposed to be. Uh, I do have two sets of trauma shears. And they're in my other kits. Because my other kits are kind of more important. So uh, This is all the stuff that got uh, delegated down to the, the shop kit. Another big thing of gauze there. Uh, no shortage of bandages. Uh, I believe there's some stray strips in here as well. What is this? Uh, okay, so we got some uh, alcohol prep pads. No, th these are clean cleansing wipes. My bad. So these are cleansing wipes. Bunch of those. Oh, look. Is that the same pair of little shears? I guess it is. I just put it back in there. So, uh, some Tylenol, some pain relief stuff, some more roll gauze, and I think all of this over here is just going to be bandages, band aids. So, plenty of boo boo stuff, but, uh, you know, some, some more serious stuff in here as well. Uh, so, I want y'all to rate me. Tell me how you think I did uh, for a little shop kit. Do you think that's adequate? CR, do you think this is adequate for a shop kit? Uh, y'all get down there in the comments and let me know. For something you, something vital you think I need to add to the kit, definitely let me know on that as well. Uh, so, that's kind of what we got in here. And uh, I thought for a, for, a, for a little shop kit, you know, if for a free little box that I found, not a bad little kit. You can handle a couple of things there, even some bigger injuries, you know. I got plenty of tape. We could tape that stuff together with, medical tape, uh, clean, wound cleansing stuff. So I thought it was pretty good for a little shop kit. Uh, so, cat. Okay. Gen 7 cat tourniquet uh, stage and ready. So, what should I add for a shop kit now? Keep in mind, it's just in here in case I cut myself with a Dremel tool or something. You know, it, you know. here's a wire brush drill attachment. If I'm wire brushing something and it slips off and gets me, makes me bleed, you know, I think this, this is kind of adequate stuff here. 
Uh, if I'm a little working and I stick myself with a needle, whatever. Plenty of band-aids for that kind of stuff. So that's what we got. I'm going to put all this stuff back in here and try to get the lid closed. Uh, for something that I should have in here that you think is vital to a shop kit, uh, let me know. Appreciate y'all. This is FSP. I'm going to check y'all later.